In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a vintage wash and puff print effect to your 3D mockups. So if you're new to the channel, thank you very much for dropping by. If you've already been on our store before, you have probably be aware that we've got these 3D mockups. And if you already have one, then you might be here looking to upgrade with that vintage wash effect and that puff print. And I'm gonna teach you how to do that today. So the first we wanna do is go over to our artwork file, which you'll be familiar with if you already have one of these products and you've been playing around with it before. So you'll see here that we've got our new vintage wash effect and we can double that up as well if we wanted to. I'd probably just recommend keeping it on one or two. Um, and then obviously we've got our artwork here where we would have placed our design. And then let's say that we wanted to add a, add a puff print effect. We could then do something like that. And I've got this separate because I wanted to show an example where we've got the background design flat with a normal plaster sole ink, and then we've got the puff print for just one element of the design, which is quite common and you might just wanna do that. So we don't wanna just add this puff print effect to everything. We're just gonna pick out certain areas where we wanna do that. So what I'm gonna do in order to make this puff print effect is I'm gonna hide all the layers below and I'm gonna save this down as just puff print just so I know that it's nice and easy to find. So what I'm gonna do is go to a website called smartpage.net. So we wanna go up here to the top and click load and then we're gonna go and locate our puff print file. So that's come in here and you probably have to move around to find some elements that you recognize. So we'll see it here and here. I have to zoom out a little bit. And you've got some settings in here that you can play around with and tweak, um, but we're gonna keep it pretty much the same. Happy with how that looks already. We don't wanna get too mad. So what I wanna do now is go back to Photoshop and then I'm gonna go and drag that onto here. And it will be slightly smaller as well. And what I'm gonna do, use this alignment tool up here and go left and align it to the bottom as well. And that will align itself to the location that it needs to be. And then this area here, we could just fill this in by selecting all of that. So I'm gonna rasterize this layer and then I'm gonna go shift, delete to bring up the fill box and then content aware and that will make it all the same purple. So now I'm gonna go and export that in the same way as I did before. And this time I'm just gonna override that and replace it. So now I've got my bumper map saved down as a PNG. What I can do is just hit save on this and that's gonna update my placeholder artwork. And then I can go back and connect that up to this model. So if I go over here, you'll see that I can click this PSD, which is place your design here, open that. Then that's gonna add the artwork on. So down here, you'll see we've got normal map here and this is where we're going to add our puff print so we want to go and get our puff print artwork we're going to go and place that there as well and then the final stage is to connect color to normal map and that's it and you're good to go and if you need help exporting this or rendering this down i'd highly recommend watching this video as well which gives you a walkthrough of how to render stuff down really really quickly without having to sit there overnight waiting for it